Hello, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Music and Culture. Before watching, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for the upcoming videos. Also like and share the videos. Thank you. Welcome back to Music and Culture, everybody. Glad to see you always there watching where everything I put a video up. Thank you for doing your job because I'll be doing my job too. And in the last video, we talked about a different way the world goes on on, you know, welcoming a baby in this world. And I did say that I'm going to talk about also a diff, you know, how we welcome twins in, in our culture, especially where I'm from in Cameroon. Um, many other parts of Africa can also do it differently, but we all know that when we have twins in a family or when twins arrive, it's a very spiritual thing and it's very like sacred to, um, we don't handle giving birth to twins as same as we handle giving birth to a normal one child. So we don't usually know ahead of time that we are going to have a twins in a family or a woman is going to have a twin. Sometimes wise woman will be able to tell by the, 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 how big the belly is. And they'll be able to tell them, hmm, you may be having twins or something, but you could have a big belly and still have one child, or you can have big belly or have two or three. But again, having, you know, you know, um, twins is very sacred thing. So from the moment a woman is going to labor, family need to start knowing if it's a twins, it's going to be a different whole game, very different. If it's one child, phew, because we all consider twins being very like, you know, um, you know, miss it like, is that like, uh, how do you even say the word? Like, that is not just like, it's, it's a big thing, mysterious thing that happen when you have twins. Not bad, but good. So what happened when a woman deliver, the minute they find out that it's going to be twins, the game change. Um, like I said in the last video, my father, you know, a man, a father of the person, you know, the father were also still wearing um, the wrapper. But the minute the wise woman was said it's two, the whole game changed. The whole family, meaning mother, father of the twins, and the aunts and sister, whoever is in that compound, will be in some kind of um, traditional. Um, they have to follow the tra traditional, which means the minute those kids were born, if you didn't, if you weren't prepared that it's going to be like that, whatever you had put on you, whatever is in you from head to toe, from head to toe, I mean, whether you have luxury clothes, you know, jewelry and stuff like that, it will not be yours after seven days. It will no longer be yours because you have to give that as a sacrifice. It's like you guys has entered some kind of um, spiritual thing that when you're out of it, you have to give it because you have to give sacrifice. So what happened is that when you, your family or your, you know, husband, your brother's uh, wife give birth to twins, you have to go to the whole ritual. It's a big ritual, which means every day, every day at six in the morning, they have to do some kind of different music and different song to always, you know, bring the spirits of the twins to be connected. Because sometimes some twins don't like don't you know they don't like each other or some of them don't look alike or sometimes i don't know how to explain it because they believe that if you don't welcome them in a better way they may not bring a good spirit in the family not that they're evil but it's how we you know welcome them and then how we have to appreciate the gift because it's a big gift from you know from god to give two now not just one so there's a whole spiritual um game that goes on for the seven days before the umbilical is um healed first of all when they when the umbilical will heal whoever gonna find out that the umbilical has healed and fell in the diaper should not say a word to anybody they should keep it 
and the way they hide that dry umbilical, they go to the river early in the morning. Early in the morning, they have to take the whole family. And that's where you're going to finally take everything. And during that time, you don't bathe. You can brush your teeth. You can, if you're, you know, a woman can do like a half bath or whatever, but you don't bathe, no bathing for seven days until that day comes where their umbilical cord has healed and everybody going to run at either five in the morning or six in the morning with all the drumming and song and everything to the nearest river. And they're going to do all the ritual ceremony in there, welcome them, you know, put them in the water. Their first, you know, full bath will be that day. And then they bring them with all songs and everything, thanking that our ancestor from giving us that gift and then bringing, welcoming a gift with all the dancing and everything to our home. And then from there, every family, from the um, the husband's side or from the wife's side, will bring their gift. It's almost like doing the diary all over again. They have to welcome. They have to give gift to the two couple who just give them two beautiful gifts. So you can see that the method of having twins is different and much complicated than having a single child because... A single child, if the umbilical is here, they take it and bury whatever they're going to bury or where they bury the placenta because in our culture, we don't throw the placenta. We take it and bury it. It's a, it's a big, another ritual respect because you have to bury it. That's why sometimes you talk to an African person or whatever that said, I know where I'm from because I know where my umbilical was buried. This is, you know, the term that we use sometimes. So with the twins they were very umbilical somewhere but uh the placenta somewhere but the umbilical has to be buried next to the river so the meaning behind that is that every problem has to flow easily like a river nothing stay if you know bad spirit good spirit it has to flow like a river and it's a you know and also thanking the ancestor from the gift that they have given us for them to give us more and more again so imagine being a mother of the twins. You are carrying twins. You don't know that you're carrying twins. And then the day of the de delivery, you think that it's going to be just one easy thing is gone. But no, it's going to be complicated because the way they're going to um, handle you is not, not the way like you had one child because they're going to know that you've been through a whole lot. So your treatment of... Um, you know, massaging and everything, which here, when I had a child, they didn't let me want to massage my stomach or tie a wrapper in my, in my waist to make your stomach go flat. And that's why I hope most women having a flat stomach because in Africa, we take care of the stomach. That's where you have to massage the stomach to be able to clean everything and, and, and then always keep a, a flat wrapper tied in your waist to keep pushing everything, whether you're sitting down, you're laying down, that thing is keeping your stomach tied up and it helps heal quickly and regain your shape quickly too. So imagine having two kids, you're going to really have, the, you know, your stomach has been pushed far, like a balloon now is going to go back. So it has to get the strength and then the shape they're going to really like give you all kinds of massage that you will look for. You know, that you don't, some of them are not easy because it's really, really hot water. I seen my sister screaming so hard when it's bath time, you feel like she's having a baby again. But, you know, here they may think, oh gosh, that's so mean. That's so hard. But it's good for your body afterward because you need that healing immediately. You need that strength immediately because you got a lot of work to do taking care of the child afterward. They're not, the family is not going to be there with you to baby you and everything the whole time. It's only for like, you know, two or three months and you're on your own. And you got to gain the the healing to be able to be strong again like you, you were before. So that's that's one of the unique things I thought I can share with you guys how we deal when we, well, how we do when we have twins and when we have a single child. I have not had a chance to experience what happened here in US when people have, you know, twins, but I cannot imagine it's that deep and spiritual and everything like it go home. And also back home, when you have twins, the names of the twins are different than sometimes when they give individual child. The name of the twin has to be different. It has to mean something. It has to mean like, you know, 
it's always has to every name has a meaning but for the twins it has to be something like not too far from one another because you can't just give each one one of them same name you have to give them different name but make sure that the name it has you know connected meaning and it, it could mean that they are one or something but it has a different meaning that the name you can give to your twins sometime in and where i grew up you can hear the name Bangwe. you know that she's a twins or she came before the twins now there's another thing too if a woman had had a child and then the second pregnancy is twins we respect the first the child who came before the twins like a twin because we call them a, mess a messenger because she or he came before the big gift was come was coming so they are the messenger they can also have some like you know different attitude you know the way they carry themselves that we also you know in some part we respect them like the twins too so this is and if you happen to travel one day in Cameroon, wherever you are in africa try and, you know and have a chance to pass through those kind of culture thing really do do try to learn because it's fun it's very unique and it's important it doesn't happen more often and that's why when it happened we take it with great joy we welcome it with every like you know happy moment we can um do and um so yeah this is all the stuff that i think that is very good because nowadays those cultures not really happening as fully as they used to be because now when you have a child or you have a twins they will say oh just don't do the ritual thing don't do the culture thing just go to church and the priest will baptize or the priest will do it in a in a in a christian way don't do the the tradition and we don't know the importance of the tradition there's always important thing there's no it will it was always a reason why our ancestor was doing those things not all tradition is evil spirit or is evil to abandon because we are not christian the things that we are suffering now or we see some disease coming or or kids have some stuff now that we don't know because we don't follow our tradition anymore we let it go this was always a reason why things will be happening the way it was being done so us knowing now today that oh because of the technology because i live in america because i live in france let me not follow my tradition we we don't know what we miss and when something happened we don't know like for example here i am here i had a baby here all my three kids was born here i didn't get my back massage my stomach massage pushed down no matter how much setups i do i still have that you know um here they call it baby fat but it's the leftover from giving birth that wasn't pushed all the way down to for me to get my shape that my shape down that you know stays with you and we call it baby fat or you know because I had birth no some women when you see them giving birth you cannot even tell that they had birth because they were very much well taken care of during their you know birth we just don't take care of the baby we also the more work is usually happen on the mother because nine months is not nine days is nine months stretching your stomach stretching your back is in a simple a different position you can't sleep in a way you want so your body is being reshaped and it has to come back to where it was and that's why we do all those massage and everything which is is good for you know your body so please again you know keep your culture keep things that are important there's always a reason why we were doing this. Not all culture is best to keep, but some of them is really, really good to keep. And there's always a reason. There's always space for it to keep in your little bag of your who you are. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay connected and keep sharing and hit the notification button for you to get, you know, every video that will be coming from me sharing my culture with you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you.